Ladies and gentlemen, you remember the video that I made entitled, Who Told You the Rapture is September 2015? And I told you in that video that there was not going to be a rapture in September 2015. And that false prophets were going to theorize and make yet another video as to why their 20,000th prophecy failed and come up with another theory. Especially this fatty right here. And you know something? You can get mad if I call him a fatty or whatever. But he's wicked to the core because he caused a lot of people to fall off the path. Here's this demon's channel name. It is Rody 61119 Anyway, he has the craziest theory on the planet. He says he doesn't understand why the rapture didn't happen last month. I can explain that because you're not hearing from the devil. You're not, I'm sorry, you're not hearing from Jesus Christ. You're hearing from the devil straight up. And people, many people have tried to correct you, but you, Mr. Fat Jezebel Spirit, refuse to listen. So I'm going to come on here in defense of the saints to explain to them why you are a false prophet. In the book of Deuteronomy, what is the scripture, Marcus? 1822 18, specifically says, If a prophet prophesies falsely one time and a prophet doesn't, prophecy does not come to pass, that is which the God, that God has never mentioned. God has never called that person to speak. That person is a false prophet. You are not to listen to them, but you are to rebuke them in public. I'm paraphrasing, but that's what the word says. Okay? So, with that being said, I'm going to play a clip for you. And you could see, just by his strange expression, it looks like he had like 20 bottles of vodka, because he does look drunk, like a drunk spirit. You can see, easily, that he is struggling to explain why... His prophecy failed last month and why the rapture didn't happen. Now, I told you people that he was going to prophesy falsely yet again. He was going to say that the rapture is going to happen next month and he's going to keep date setting. Now, you people that like his video are about as stupid as a bag of rocks because you know he's a false prophet. You know he has a laundry list of false prophecies, and every time his prophecy fails, he takes them down. Now, he's going to probably take this video down. That's why I'm recording it for you. So now, he says October 2015 rapture with a question mark. So he is date setting again. The Lord Jesus Christ never sent this fat piece of turd to prophesy anything. Now, you might say, Esmeralda, you're being a little mean. I can care what you think. Because it really angers me righteously when this person, people like this demon, causes the sheep of God to fall off the path. And he's done enough damage in that area. Not just him, other false prophets as well. So, I'm going to let you hear a clip. I urge you, if you were eating, you better have a bucket near you because you are going to throw up. In other words, I'm not wishing that you throw up. You are going to feel sick. Okay, and I wish you better in Jesus Christ's name. But you are going to feel utter sickness from hearing the filth coming out of his mouth. Watch. First of all, uh, I do not believe that we are at one month off in the Jewish calendar. Uh, what I do believe that, that happened is um, that... Notice how he is struggling to explain why his prophecy failed yet again. Watch. The Lord tarried. You know, the, the Bible says clearly that there was going to be a delay, that the husband was going to um, tarry, and, and he was going to, um, you know, unexpectedly coming after, after this tardiness. I'm going to stop his gums from flapping for a minute. Let me explain something to you, ladies and gentlemen. If you know your Bible, okay, 
you will know that Jesus Christ is not a liar and he doesn't break promises. In fact, the word of God says that Jesus Christ always keeps his promise and he doesn't delay in his promises. So he's in fact calling Jesus Christ not only a liar, if you look in between the lines, he is saying Jesus Christ um, delays in his promise. Look at that. In the back of me, my audio Bible is saying to, uh, in the last days, look at that. In the last days, there's going to be false prophets not giving heed to sound doctrine. Isn't that something? Anyway, let me get back to the topic at hand. He's implying Jesus Christ is a liar. He breaks promises. That Jesus Christ delays in his promises. Jesus Christ is not a liar. Jesus Christ doesn't break promises. Jesus Christ is not going to is not going to give his prophets a false prophecy. Jesus Christ will give send his messengers out with sound doctrine, with truth, with prophecies that will come to pass. Okay? Jesus Christ, if you people will listen, Jesus Christ is not speaking to this man because he has a laundry list of false prophecies. And you people making excuses for him. Not all of you. People making excuses for him. Knowing he's a false prophet. You're not helping yourself with the Lord. You're not helping your walk with Christ. You're jeopardizing it. How can you justify the actions of a false prophet? Why not stand up for the cross? But let me let me let you hear another clip of this. Have that bucket near you in case you throw up from hearing the filth out of his mouth. And um, as it says very well in, in the um, parable of the ten virgins, they all fell asleep. Now, if we go to the Bible and um, we realize that you know the Lord should come in the fifth days, in the solemn fifth days, we have to find several principles. The Bible says in Psalm 81, 3, uh, blow the trumpet in the new moon in the solemn feast day. He's taking the scriptures out of context, ladies and gentlemen. Blow the trumpet in the new moon. If you ever hear the Lord talking about blow the trumpet, the Lord is always saying blow the trumpet, meaning be a watchman on the wall. Warn those of the rebellion, warn the house of the rebellious ways. The new moon is a significance, a time of atonement, deliverance. Remember when, when the Lord was using uh, Moses to free the Israelites from the grasp of the Egyptians? When the Israelites were being delivered, it was a new supermoon actually that night. So that means blow the trumpet, new moon, deliverance. Blow the trumpet, warn the masses of their evil ways so they could be restored to righteousness, so they could be delivered. New moon also means a new era. Something new, it also means a new era. New moon can also mean a sign of something to come, a warning. So blow the trumpet in time, in time of the new moon. In time of the new moon, blow the trumpet. Blow the trumpet, warn the masses before the judgment of God comes. He's taking he's taking uh, scripture out of context. And in the appointed day, um, what I have studied and found out only because the Bible says uh, that the appointed day could be 17 days, the, the day 17, and also the third day based on Hosea. Chapter 6, uh, verse 2, that um, uh, the Bible says clearly, He will give us life for two days, He will revive us for two days, and in the third day He will, he will raise us up. In the third day of what? In this case, I believe that the Lord delayed seven days more, uh, as it happened when King Solomon finished the house of God. Uh, the Lord doesn't delay. So he's saying that the Lord told him September 2015 was the rapture. Okay. Oh, by the way, Rody, I'm sorry. That's not the date. I made a mistake. The rapture's in October. I'm sorry, Rody. 
We're not in the year 2013, it's 2012. This guy's lost his mind because this guy thinks, okay, first he was going on the Gregorian calendar. If you remember his past videos, this guy thinks we are in the year 2014. Now he thinks that the Jewish calendar is a month behind. This guy's lost his rocker. He's out of his freaking mind. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. He's crazy. I mean, the stuff that comes out of his mouth is ridiculous. And if you listen to this, you are just as insane as he is. My father would never speak to an unclean, huge, rotund, wide load vessel like that. Or any unclean vessel, period. The tremendous symbology here. Uh, when King Solomon built the house of God, I don't want to say something. The reference of the three days, God raising up in the three day. You know that Jesus Christ was in the ground for three days. It says it in the Word. Jesus Christ was glorified, resurrected. That scripture is basically explaining to you, as believers in Christ, you will be crucified. You have to be crucified with the Lord. In other words, as believers in Christ, you are going to suffer. Says it in the word. True believers in Christ will be persecuted. Some will even become martyrs. When the time comes, whenever the rapture is, whenever the rapture happens, you will be glorified. The righteous ones, not goats. He's thinking it means, oh, the rapture is going to happen in three days. Doesn't mean that, ladies and gentlemen. Remember that a day can mean a year. The, con the, the, the way man views time is different from God. God's time is different. Think about Daniel 9.27 that talks about the covenant of Israel and the covenant with many nations. So that, that, that it was going to usher in a one week period. Remember that? That means a seven year tribulation. That means that one day represents a year. So he's telling you people, oh, the rapture's going to happen in three days. He's thinking in the context of man. But one day can represent a year. If you look at the scriptures deeply with the Holy Spirit guiding you, not Satan. Okay? One year can represent one day can represent a year like in Daniel 9:27 Jesus Christ was actually in the ground for 3 days Jesus Christ that's 3 days meaning 3 sunrises Jesus Christ was resurrected and glorified so that picture is saying as believers in Christ we will suffer but those that endure will be resurrected in 3 days and be glorified. In other words, God is coming back for his remnant. Christians will suffer for three days. In that three-day period, they're going to be suffering. They're going to they're going to be tortured, persecuted. They're going to even become martyrs. But those that endure shall be saved. Those that endure will be have eternal life. Those that endure will be glorified, resurrected like the Father was. So, the, so when I'm telling you that, that Christians will suffer for three days, I'm not telling you people three actual days like mankind. I'm telling you, I believe the Bible is saying in that verse, in, what was it, Solomon? I believe that the Bible is saying that mankind is going to suffer and those three days can be on, they're going to be on God's appointed time. In other words, one day may not represent 24 hours like you people see. I believe it's going to represent longer than that. I believe that one day represents a year. Like in Daniel 9, 27. Seven days, right? A seven day covenant. Uh, this, the covenant with Israel is going to usher in a, seven, a one week period of tribulation. 
that one week represents a year. One day, rep no, I'm sorry, that one week represents seven years. That one day represents a year. So if the Lord says you're going to be taken up, you're going to be resurrected in three days like Jesus Christ, you have to go through suffering for that. You have to be refined. You have to be persecuted. You're going to be going through trials. Jesus Christ prophesied that. As believers in Christ, you're going to be persecuted. You have to endure. Those that endure and prove their worth to the Father, that they're one of Him, will see eternal life and will be saved. And that few remnant will make it in the rapture. That's what that scripture means. Christians will see suffering for a time. So that three days, just because God says three days, it doesn't mean three days in man's time. It means in God's time. So that three days can be anywhere from one day to three years to four years. It's God's timing. It could be years. And Christians have been suffering since the dawn of time. They've been suffering for centuries. Let's continue. The first temple. Um, he did the tabernacles feast for seven days and then did it for seven days more. And in the eighth day, after the 14 days, he sent the people home. Now, he's He's... Again, using manly knowledge. This dude, and, excuse my expression, I didn't mean to say dude, ladies and gentlemen. This person is, big person, is telling you people that the rapture is going to take place in October. That's what he's telling you people. This huge person is telling you people that the rapture is going to happen like, based on what he's telling you, He's telling you it's going to happen in October. He's probably picking a date anywhere from October 3rd, okay, to like October, what, 15th, 16th? He's prophesying October is the rapture. I don't care if you see a question mark there. He believes in his heart the rapture's in October. Well, I'm going to tell you something, Mr. Huge Person. The rapture's not going to happen this month. And you're going to make yet another video explaining your failed prophecy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to watch the rest of this filth, you can. That's your choice. You think I'm being mean and upset because you don't want to hear the truth that God is the only one that knows when the rapture is going to happen. That the scriptures clearly says no man knows the day nor the hour that God does not tarry. God doesn't break his promises. You want to hear that? You can simply hit unsubscribe. I'm not going to cry about it. I love everybody. I care about all souls. But when I see stuff like this, I have to sit stand up for the cross. This false prophet has been corrected by many people. And he still comes on YouTube, which is a cesspool in itself, and still falsely prophesies. He is insane. I mean, goodness. Where was he the day God was giving brains out? I'll tell you what, eating burgers. Now, could it be? She said it, said, um, Look at this. But I have not been called to come into the king these 30 days. In other words, from the 13th of September to the 13th of October, is the entire month of Tishri. 13th of October is the 30th of Tishri. And she gave a timeline there. The Lord gave us a timeline uh, by the mouth of... He said she. ...of Queen Esther, that we haven't been called to the presence of the king in 30 days. In other words, 30 days have to come, have to go by. Tabernacles have to be celebrated twice, uh, according to Julian calendar. Um, now he's using the Julian calendar. Do you see how he switches from the Jewish calendar to the Julian calendar? He's telling you people that the rapture is going to happen between now and the 13th of October. He probably might even stretch it to the end of October. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Today is the 9th. And uh, most important, from after after this um, uh, 13th, if you start on the 14th, the following day, 40 days, because exactly 
40 days uh, is, the, is the time period that uh, Nineveh was given uh, for this 12 or 13. Blessed is he that makes it to 1,335 days. Now, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. This is this turd also believes we're in a tribulation. I already explained to you why we're not. And I also wanted to correct something, ladies and gentlemen. It's the tenth, actually. So, um, <laughs> this guy's a false prophet. Now, if you don't see that, you are as blind as a bat. And I'm just going to be real. Now, you see how many morons like this? Thirty-one morons. Thirty-one idiots. You see how few people. Me included. See that this turd is a liar. Okay. I'm being clean with my language here. Believe me. I had to bite my tongue. I had to go in my prayer closet. And pray to the Lord Jesus Christ. For some humility. Because this guy. Is just about as smart. As this table. Because it's the very end. Of the great tribulation. That is the day that the Lord will come back in glory and it happens to be the 17th of Tammuz a very very important day uh, now why July 20th of 2019 if you go to Wikipedia right now now he's switching his date now he's telling you people July 20th of 2019 he's telling you October 20 uh, 2015 this guy is switching his date the Lord's not coming when he wants the Lord's not going to come July 2019, like he speculates. He keeps date setting. And you morons, the 31 of you, whoever keeps liking this turd's videos, you have your head up his rear. You can't even stake it, take it back out. I mean, watch. Sorry about my internet speed being a little slow. Anyway... I've showed you his channel before, okay? I showed you people, and I'm not talking about all of you people. I know that there's a few smart ones out there that don't listen to this filth. He's got videos date setting the rapture for two years, and you few morons still listen to him and like him. Either you're smoking a high, the strongest chronic out there, or you're not. I, I'm just being real, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not talking to all of you. I'm just talking to a few of you. How could you sit there and like a video? This guy's got a list of, of false prophecies. At the end of the day, it's your choice. Take this to the to prayer to God and take this message to God in prayer. Ask him what I tell you is true. But this guy's a false prophet because everything he's telling you does not align with the scriptures. Okay? It doesn't. If you choose to listen to this guy that eats burgers, that is your choice. Hopefully, you won't inherit his eating habits.